we've got <laughs> these trends, we see them. So now what am I supposed to be doing if I'm a leader inside an organization? So, so what I didn't realize when I wrote the book was I think it's fun and I professionally come up with ideas for disaster movies. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize this wasn't a hobby most people had. Um, uh, so so the, the good news is actually in times of disruption, that is the time to take ground. That is the time for the greatest opportunity. And so what we really want to be looking at is do we have the right skill sets on our teams to better see the future than our competition and to plan for it? And uh, when I think about that, I think about uh, something really geeky. Uh, the field of epistemology, which is in philosophy. There's a little geeky, super geeky corner uh, where we study uh, how we know what we know. And that's, that's called epistemology. And, and there are really only four ways that we know new things. There, there's thinking like a lawyer, right? Deductive thinking. There's thinking like a scientist, uh, you know, asking, oh, it's called inductive thinking. What, what, what is the most likely thing given the information we know right now? Mm -hmm. The third is thinking like an economist. It's called Bayesian reasoning and, and saying, okay, well, how do, we, how do we build a model of what's going on uh, around us and how would the inputs or the outputs change you know, if, if something went wanky in the middle? And then the last is uh, what's called abductive thinking or thinking like an artist, right? So think about a science fiction author and what do they really do? They say, what would the world look like if something that we know to be true changed? Right. So what would happen if gravity didn't exist? How would how would it like be like to be human? Like I've seen lots of movies about that. Uh, or what would happen if something new um, came to light? What would happen if a meteor hit the earth? How how would how would that impact? Uh, <laughs> how would that impact um, uh, our lives? So so if you have those four competencies within your organization, you can really start to uh, look at the future in a full spectrum way. And there are, there are within the book, we talk about kind of the process to do that. So how do you reality test? If you want to forecast the future and you start from the wrong baseline, it turns out that you end up with the wrong future. Uh, how do you observe the range of, uh, how do you observe the system? How do you, how do you start to look at that range of possibility because there's an envelope of possibility right it's not like gravity won't exist or gravity will exist like there's a range um, and then how do you generate that range of possible futures how do you make sure that you're looking at the future from a to z like we were talking about earlier 